in Dinky Town, go inside the Dinky Dale Mall and down the hallway for a taste from across the pond. I like baking. I like cooking. John Earl's hobby of making pasties I just started doing them. turned into a career. The ultimate grab and go meal. John runs Lands and Pasty Company with his nephew, <laughs> Peter Jacobson. We opened up in June of 2014. My uncle had this idea years ago. Uh, he had a friend who moved to the UK and he would visit him over there about once or twice a year. And uh, he ran into pasties there and visited Cornwall. It's a handheld pot pie. The true pasty is cubed beef, potato, rutabaga, and onion, salt and pepper. But they also branch off from the traditional. We did alligator one time. Their pasties come with a corner of apple pie. So if you don't want dessert first, start at the open end of the bag. I discovered this place my first year in grad school. Um, so that was about three and a half years ago, and I've been coming more or less every other week since then. Being this close to the university, we meet a lot of different people from different backgrounds. It's been so much fun. When people come in, they can put a pin uh, where they're from. And we have almost every single state now. We're missing Vermont. They'll be taking their own trip in February. We will be leaving on the 28th to go to Cornwall to compete in the World Passy Championships, which are gonna be at the Eden Project. So many English people have told us we should go over there because we could give them a run for their money. John and Peter will be entering three pasties in the open category. I was pushing for them to do the venison at the competition because that one's my favorite. Oh, I thought, well, wild rice, that's very Minnesotan. So we'll try that. And the other one is a jerk chicken. No matter the outcome. And fries. They've got their customers' support. We're here 70, 70 plus hours a week each. So this is kind of my social life, um, getting to know everybody in, that stops in. Um, it's just been a lot of fun. In Minneapolis. There you are. Heidi Wigdahl. Care 11 News. The World Pasty Championship takes place March 2nd. If you'd like to support Pete and John, there is a GoFundMe page to help them with their travel expenses. You can learn more about Land's End and tell us about a business of your own on care11.com. Just click on Features.